One school in Muntinlupa prepares for the looming comeback of face-to-face -face classes. But while some welcome the change, others are still worried as the threat of COVID-19 remains. JC Cosico has the report. Distance seats, opened windows for air ventilation, thermal scanners at the doorstep, hand-washing areas in hallways, and safety markers and signages posted around the campus. These are just some of the COVID-19 safety protocols being implemented at Itinasa National High School in Muntinlupa City when they began limited face-to-face -face classes back in December. And most likely, school officials say, this will be the same setup for the full in-person classes targeted to begin in November. We will be strengthening more of the, all of this so that by that time in November, we are already. Tunasa National High School is among the 28 schools in Metro Manila that piloted the limited face-to-face -face class setup last year. From 2,500 grade 7 to 12 students, more than triple or around 8,000 junior and senior high schoolers are expected to return for the full face-to-face -face class setup. We will be more uh, careful this time because at, at, until now, uh, we're still in pandemic. But still, some teachers can't help but worry. Just like senior master teacher Rene Delfino, who has hyperthyroidism. Until such time na hindi tayo COVID free, lahat tayo dapat maging worried. He admitted, face to face classes are better as internet connection remains to be a problem. Delfino added, an in person class setup will let them focus more on their students. You cannot really give an authentic, ano, authentic assessment kung natuto si bata. Tama? Unlike doon sa ano sa on as a face to face na deportment ng bata nakikita mo alam mo kung ang bata ay eh, naaabsorb yung tinuturo mo dito some parents and guardians share the same view as they are having a hard time teaching their children mas alam ng mga guro kung paano i-handle din yung mga bata hindi ka mukha naming mga lola parent syempre minsan sa pagod din namin di ba May mga, lul mga lulutuin, may, basta may mga gagawin, tapos ayan pa yung module ng mga bata. Hindi rin namin sila matutukan. But just like some teachers, other parents are worried that their kids might get COVID-19 at school. Dimpol Espeleta, for instance, has five high schoolers returning to school soon. Nandun din yung pangamba na, syempre, hindi naman lahat ng mga anak ko may vaccine tapos hindi mo rin masasabi yung iba na dikit-dikit din sila kasi ngayon hindi pa rin patapos ang pandemic but the school management assures we will do our very best so that their uh, children will be protected and that we will be able to deliver quality teaching and learning with full in-person classes expected to happen soon, small businesses near schools are hoping they could bounce back from their losses. School supply vendor Cindy Gallego for once said some of her items can no longer be sold due to few customers. Yung business mo na to dati, boom po talaga. Malaki yung kinikita ngayon. Wala talaga. Pangkain na lang. Sana nga po. Tuloy-tuloy na. While sales of food vendor Berto Visico also weakened. Matumal. Di mahay na ang income. May nang benta. Siyempre, pag nag-face-to-face na, medyo babalik ka sa normal. For now, DEPED has yet to issue a department order regarding full face-to-face -face classes. For News 5, JC Cosico, We Are One News.